better choice. This is a much better choice. You should have done this. But I, well, I, this is why he used to send Tom Fee to loser bracket in the first place. Yeah, and uh, there to some extent he might not be want, he might have played Ryu because he didn't want to review too many of his cards. To some extent, again, these are competitors in Capcom Cup. Possibly, very true. This could actually potentially give Tonpi an advantage. <laughs> and Tonpi just tried to continuously do the frame trap after the Thunder Knuckle. He hit it three times and finally Puko just had enough. <laughs> Look at the damage um, traded. Though. It's still in Tonpi's favor up until that point. Yeah, great use of the overhead to beat out the uppercut. Keeps his pressure going. Once again, the overhead beating that Viper uppercut. They're on opposite side of the brackets. They were on opposite sides of the bracket uh, because okay. they were going to be playing at close to each other at Capcom Cup, right? Where where are they in Capcom Cup? Can you take a look at that? I think that's what he's looking at. No, he was looking at the bracket here. Like they were on opposite sides of this bracket, right? Oh, and in Capcom Cup, they were on the opposite sides. Okay, cool. Okay. So, very it'd be very hard for these two players to meet. Okay, cool. Well, not too much risk. Ooh, great use of the armor to get out of dodge. Kofi, though, these frame traps work out so well. Oh, great bait, but no punish. Yeah, it, she landed. It looks like she landed kind of awkwardly. She actually seemed like she crouched for a second there when she landed because that first whiffed completely. Oh, that sucks. I'm not sure why that doesn't act the combo. Maybe just a, a tad too far away. It could have been the non EX version. I've seen that happen from time to time with Nando as well, so. Uh, I don't have a good explanation, I just know what happens. Never really worked out. Just tested. Yeah, it's all for a day. It's Street Fighter 4. Alright. Kuko really showing off that his L14 knowledge has so Battle many him. great safe setups against the uppercuts. And wow, that will be the first game. Simple combo to finish it off. He goes for a level 2 red focus instead of level 3, just so he can do some little cool things at the end. Yeah. He could have just sealed it with a level 3, that would have hit hella hard. And then the next hit would kill automatically. Nah, just go level two. Let's be a little flash here. Who go love showing off for the stream when he can? It's a little bit of extra uh, pizzazz. He's a, he's a showman. He's an entertainer. That's why the people love him. That's why I love him. He's just fun to watch. I just like how he loves to have fun. Uh, oh, NCR stories with him are amazing. <laughs> I'm not gonna share it tonight. Okay, that will get Punko a little ways back in this round. He is El Fuerte, so one good knockdown can make a lot of damage, but a lot of ground to make up still. What's gonna happen here? Gonna go for that? Nope, no cross of Fierce. Just push it to the corner, build a little bit of meter. Yeah. Uh, Interesting choice right there from Punko. He had an ooky opportunity and decided to stay in front. That's usually a much more conservative option when you don't want to risk putting yourself in a situation that might not be favorable. Oh, great use of the invincibility there to get out of pressure. Oh no. Oh, what? I didn't know that worked. Great, great juggle. Oh, but the Fungo has his own juggles. If only he did another Q-bomb, that would demoralize him. This could be it right here. Oh, great focus. Wow. Oh my god. Counter hit setups, though, from Topi will take this round. Wow! My jaw dropped from that. My my jaw literally dropped from seeing that. That was godlike. How long he waited before even pressing that crouching medium punch? Like it felt like he just waited a turny there in the in his face. That was crazy. <laughs> he, he had a read somewhere in that set which I didn't see. He must have saw something. That's all timing. I think it's all around the metagame behind the Thunder Knuckle, you know, pressure that he's applying. Well, okay, so what just happened when he did that um, Thunder Knuckle, he saw that crouching jab timing right there, too. So that's a, that's, that's a possible read right there. Right there's another possible read. He just, the timing off of that jab when he walked forward. Like, this is all, like, information to validate. Ooh, that could have actually been an ultra conversion right there, but doesn't matter. He still finds the next sequence to close out the round. To be honest with you, because Tompi's on so much offense and... A lot of his things puts him in situations where he can actually see a button and the timing of when it's pressed. And he's setting up now with the Fierce. And that must have been a jab again by Punko when he got counter hit. Because he's opting for jabs, not shorts. Yeah, and Punko's pressure hasn't been as clean recently. Tomfi has a good read. Oh, but finally, once again, the uppercuts have not worked out a single time on Tomfi's wake up. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. Oh wow, interesting choices. Nice. Ooh. Okay, work by Punka right there. Still a really close set between these two international players. R Kappa Punko and MF? What's MF? I want to say Mofo, but. Uh, I'm sure Spencer will inform us in a second here because yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, there's so many ways to get reads on offense, right? Especially when you're an airborne player. You get to see some of the things that they prefer to do on the ground, especially in response. Wow, that reaction to the bird kick was so great from Punko, and now he has his offense. Ooh. A little crazy, but you are El Forte. Oh, oh, wow. Stay on the ground. That was just reaction, man. That, that anticipation was insane. <laughs> the cube on this ain't active for so long. He just charged all the way across the screen. It was a nice attempt. Very it was a nice attempt. Unfortunately, that move is active for days. I'm, right. I'm kind of curious to say Sorry, I might, I might splurt some random stuff about like what I would see and what I would do in this particular match. Oh. I just love these safe jump setups from Punko and the use of the overhead to, to, you know, you have to put that crouching short to start off when they got really close, so he actually did a crouch attack with short this time. So jab. By the way, guys, this is tournament point for Punko. If he could find the thing, but wow, the stun from Topi should wrap up this first round. And Tobi is really cashing Ooh. in off of that read up the uh, this crouch attack, whether it's jab or short timing. And Punko being really elusive right now. So slippery, just barely stayed alive. Oh my oh, god, now so it's chip smart rage. For, that was crazy smart from Tombi to not follow through with the chip damage because Punko could have punished with an ultra. Oh my god, Punko stays alive. No, don't punish. Ah! What? Ah! That was insane. That was insane for both players. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Punko almost gets the comeback, but Tombi just. Man, just the recognition of the situation. It's brilliant. The scramble was real. It's so tempting to just go for that chip. But you do the wrong thing. You make one wrong mistake, and you're done. Oh, that was sick. 2-2. Two, two. Punko versus Tompi. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. I don't know why Tompi looked over. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw, yeah. I saw him do that. He did that, too. Is he going to show us another character? Is he not going to end this one with fight? I mean... Seriously? Elf. Okay, I'm disgusted oh, in you. I'm, did he really go to Yoda? You're a disgusting individual. I am not a fan of you anymore. I hope you lose. Hey, I'm just kidding. This, I'm is it. this is to the point he wants to win. He's like, I, how do you win in Street Fighter 4 right now? You use Yoon. I like Punko still, but I'm disgusted at this character oh decision. Oh god, look at the uppercuts also. Okay. Gross. Okay. Okay, the mix ups. Has to burn the meter, sadly. This is appalling. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> Punko making the Salt Fiend real, and ooh! Doesn't block the double high. That's brilliant, Punko. Brilliant pick. All right, once again on tournament point here, using the cheap Yoon. Oh yeah, we got that burn kick setup. Yeah, we got the we got those DPS with Yun. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, now you got three meters. Oh, right for red focus. Punch. Here it comes. Here it comes. Setting up. Oh yeah, that's that's cute. I didn't see that one coming. All right, he's gonna take some type of mix up here as Yun. What's it? Oh, okay. That was such great use of Ix Seismo, but da la la. Yun, baby. Disgusting individual. Oh. How do you how do you live with yourself? How do you look at yourself in the mirror 